Earlier on this year, I was asked by a young man called Stuart Fitzsimmons if I would write music for um, his entry into the ABCs of Death competition, um, where you had to develop a very, very short film, which would become part of a larger anthology of films, and it would be released in a big bundle package. And uh, the competition was to develop a film for the letter M. So his film, M for Mycophobia, is very, very short, um, and I really, really like the um, style of it because it's done in a very olden style of filming. And basically there's a lot of um, black, there's black and white. You've got sort of film reel stuff going up and down the sides, grain. Um, you've got scratches, that sort of thing. It looks really, really old and classy. And um, I quite like it, especially the outfits. Everything sort of works really, really well. Anyway, the premise of the film is um, a young man is bet two bob, which is um, two shillings, which I believe are the equivalent of 12 English pence from the olden days. I uh, hope, so. hope that's right. <laughs> and um, he bets him that he can't stand in a ring of mushrooms without falling asleep. Um, now, the... But the guy goes ahead and does it, stands in the ring, and it turns out that um, it's all a secret horror twist sort of trap and um, that he will go to sleep and eventually become a mushroom himself. Um, that's something I hope to evolve into one day, by the way. And I really liked this short film from the clip that I was shown and I thought, how can I make this actually sound decent because I, I specialize really in um, synth music. I mean, I love stuff like Vince DiCola's music for Transformers. You know, um, I love Dominic Glynn's stuff for uh, the old Doctor Who, Kef McCullough. Oh my God, his music is amazing. But you know, I, I like sort of synthesized stuff, stab sounds and stuff. So this was really looking at things through a completely different sort of viewpoint because I wanted to do it using an orchestral suite, um, so um, I ended up using a load of orchestral samples to create the feeling of this film. And I didn't like the way that they sounded really, really crisp, so what I did is I dumbed down the intensity of the sound until it was sort of like a semi-audible muted orchestral, and I made it quieter and quieter and quieter. And every single time I dulled down the intensity of the sound until I was left with um, a piece of music which sounded like it was orchestral in its own way. It sounded different though, and I, I, I liked that. And then once I'd got it to the point where it was really, really, really quiet and it, it sounded significantly different from a load of orchestral samples all jumbled together, um, what I did is I then raised the volume up and raised it up and raised it up until it reached a normal level and um, then I put it into the end finished product. enjoyed doing this one because it's nice working with black and white film for once. I like the costume, I thought that um, considering the fact that it's only a couple of minutes long, I think that the characterization is quite, quite good, um, the way that everything is introduced. I think the amount of effort that's gone into it um, is very very nice and I really like the concept so it was, it was nice working on it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's yet another film I've enjoyed working on, even though it was only a couple of minutes long. I'll put a link in wherever the bar is um, in a couple of years, and um, hopefully, uh, yeah, you can enjoy it. Bye!